Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Tundra Hybrid Limited TRD Off-Road in the color gray. Let's take a look. Starting up front, underneath the hood, we have the gas component of the hybrid energy system. It is the iForce Max Twin Turbo 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 437 horsepower, 583 pound-foot of torque, towing capacity up to 11,171 pounds, payload up to 1,609. Up front here, you've got your LED headlights, customer detail running lights, fog lights down below. Across the front bumper, you have these little round nodules. These guys are the front parking sensors. On your front row, you have both the Tundra and the TRD logos. And then directly underneath that blue Toyota Hybrid logo is the front-facing camera. As we get on to the side here, we have 18-inch black alloy wheels. On either side of the hood, you will find the iForce Max plaques. Then side mirrors have integrated turn signals, blind spot monitoring, and then underneath you've got additional cameras to contribute to the surround view camera effect. On both your front doors, you have your Tundra plaques. And on both of your front handles, you'll find this little dimple. We'll talk about that guy more on the driver's side. Moving back, all your rear windows come with factory tinting, and on both your rear doors, you'll find your limited trim level badge. In the back here, currently, we have the bed lamps turned on. These guys can be turned off or work automatically with opening and closing of doors. Rear windshield is also power adjustable. We'll look at the controls for both of these guys when we get up front at the driver's side. Now, on either side of the bed, you have your TRD 4x4 off-road sticker. Then, across the back bumper, just like the front, you've got backup parking sensors. Left-hand side, you have that 4x4 badge. Underneath, you have your hitch receiver and spare mounted on the bottom. Tundra logo the whole way across the back. And on your rear handle is the backup camera. To open up your bed space here, just reach into your handle and press the button. And it can automatically lower itself down from there. Tundra logo across the back. You can take a look along the inside of the bed space. As we said, we have the interior lighting. You also have your tie-down hooks and bed rails. And on the right-hand side, you've got an additional power outlet. To close it up, just reach down and bring your tailgate upwards to lock it into starting position. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So inside here, your interior upholstery is the black soft tex leatherette. From the side, it appears solid, but if you look at it head on, you'll find this geometric print that emerges. This is only available with this trim level. In between the seats, you have access to a folding down armrest slash cup holder, which can easily fold away to increase a seating capacity. Then up top, next to your middle headrest and your rear passenger headrest, you've got this little fabric strap. Reach up and release this guy to access the storage space behind your seats, including your toolkit back there for the spare tire. Similarly, down below, you've got another little strap. You can reach and release this guy if you want to flip your seats upwards to adjust the amount of space you have for storage in the back here. Looking up overhead, there is a panoramic moonroof inside for everyone to enjoy. Then on the back of your front passenger and front driver's seat, you've got pouch storage. Back of the console, you have your cup holders and cubby space, and you've got your chargers down below. And though they're not installed, all new units do come with both carpeted and rubber sets of mats. Inside your door, you've got plenty of storage space, and up top is the power window control. Back again to this little dimple, this guy indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your head here or in here to lock and unlock your unit. Inside, you've got your power windows for front and back, window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls. On the left, this allows for your side mirrors to fold in flat with the body of your unit. You can keep it set to A for automatic, so they'll fold and unfold when you lock and unlock with a key fob, or you can manually adjust these at any point in time. Now, down below that is your memory seat settings, which of course means you have electronic seat adjustment, back front, up, down, and lumbar support. Hood release latch on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. Top of that, we've got a few different controls. At the bottom, you've got your headlamp leveling and your heated steering wheel control. It is the TRD steering wheel, so it's got the little plaques and red accents, which matches with the TRD gear shift. Next to that is your AC 120 volt. Then you have your backup parking sensors, odometer trip, dash brightness, gas release, automatic headlamps, and the rear light controls. Hop up here and we'll take a closer look at the steering wheel and its features. First off, steering wheel itself is a black leather with black stitching. Left side here, you've got the controls here for your dash display. 
hands-free communication and the volume control. Right hand side, radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top, which includes both sonar and lane departure. On top of your dash, you have this little storage cubby. It's got a 12 volt adapter on the left hand corner. And then underneath is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Currently, you're looking at the optional navigation screen. You can choose to connect that through to how to connect it services. Then you've got your audio listening, AM, FM, satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and you've got optional USB adapters throughout, such as this one on the bottom right hand corner. Then phone connectivity. This is for connecting your personal device via Bluetooth. You've got your trip information, and at the bottom is all of your settings. Everything from personal profile, Bluetooth info, notifications, sound, media, dealer info, security apps, etc. Under there, you've got your volume control on the left-hand corner. The middle section here is all climate control. So we've got dual climate control up front. You can either have things synced up, or you can turn off the syncs, and then they will function independently from one another. Defrost for your front and rear windshield, as well as side mirrors right in the middle. And on each side, we have three variant levels for both heated and cooled seats. Blue for cool, red for heat. This is for both the driver and front passenger. Left of this is a red TRD push start ignition. Underneath is your trailer brake controls. Back to the center here, you've got surround view cameras. So give that guy a press and you'll get a full surround view look of the vehicle in real time. Of course, I have the driver's door open right now, so the image is slightly distorted, but usually you have your door closed, so that shouldn't be a problem. You can also get lower to the ground if you want to, to take a look at what's nearer to you, and you can pause it at any point in time to take a look for a little bit longer. Further adjustments for this are in the bottom right-hand corner icon. To get rid of the screen, you can either press that same button again, or the X in the top left-hand corner. Next to this is your traction control, four ways, and your rear diff lock. Then you've got your parking brakes. You've got the gear shift, two wheel, four high, and four low controls, driving and towing mode, MTS downhill and crawl. Then storage spaces all throughout the middle here. Starting up front, you'll find this a black pad space with this little glowing green dot. This guy is a wireless charging pad. It is compatible with all wireless charging devices. You'll find little bumpers on the sides and bottom of this, which help to make sure your phone's not going to slip out of that spot when you're actually out and on the road. This feature also means you don't have to worry about having charging cords on your person ever again, though if that is your preference, there are of course adapters throughout the vehicle, and there's still plenty of additional storage space all around there, so it's not taking up any valuable real estate. Next to that, you've got your cup holders and then console space. Two different layers of trays. The bottom one is able to be slid back to get quick, easy access inside. You can also open it up from either side, just press the button and then lift. You have some interior lighting stemming from the back, lots of different storage options, and you've got additional chargers and coin holders in here too. On the right hand side down below, there is a lockable glove box. Up overhead on the rear view mirror, one, two, and three dots. These guys are garage door openers. Then overhead, you have your SOS button, sunglasses compartment, overhead lighting controls. Controls, of course, for the panoramic moonroof. And then on the left hand corner is your adjustments for your power adjustable rear windshield. You can take a look at it in action. Press the button in to have it roll down. Pull the button up to have it roll back closed. You can stop it at any point along the way to suit your preference. Great little feature for getting extra airflow inside your front cab space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Tundra Limited Hybrid TRD Off-Road in the color gray. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.